1954, Chinese High School. A determined and diligent student by the name of Ong Teng Cheong. It was a difficult time to be a student in an era of uncertainty and political upheavals. The National Service riots had taken Chinese middle school students by storm. Amidst the wave of anti-colonial rhetoric, Ong stood unwavered in the face of the riots, an independent mind who stood for what he believed in. As a young man, Mr. Ong had diverse interests, one of which was a soft spot for the arts. His passion for playing the piano would become an enduring image of Mr. Ong as a patron of the arts. Apart from the arts, Ong had a deep passion for architecture. This love for architecture eventually brought him to Australia, where he pursued his higher studies at the University of Adelaide. One of Ong's final year projects involved designing an airport. This experience would be useful as Changi Airport was one of his major contributions to Singapore. Mr. Ong emphasized the need for an iconic control tower to represent Changi Airport and Singapore, with high aesthetic appeal and visibility to tourists upon their arrival. More importantly, he believed that comfort and better passenger facilitation would be a large part of the new airport's success. Ong's eye for detail and foresight were crucial for Changi Airport to become one of the leading airports in Southeast Asia, allowing Singapore to become a key player in the global market. In the 1970s, roads in Singapore were becoming increasingly congested. By the 1990s, demand for road space would exceed what Singapore could bear. A more efficient and convenient system was needed. Ong had to convince Parliament of the benefits of a high-speed rail system to meet Singapore's economic and developmental potential through greater accessibility. Ong went on many trips around the world to study how different railway models could be adapted for Singapore's mass rapid transit, the MRT. Armed with new knowledge, he convinced various social groups such as the general public, businessmen, Many were doubtful of his plans, especially due to the high cost and risk. An expert team from Harvard also argued that improvements in the current bus system would be sufficient. Within Parliament, Ong faced strong opposition, as the funds could be invested in the more pressing needs such as housing. Despite these struggles, Ong persevered, and after a fierce televised debate in 1980, the government finally gave the green light two years later. Ong believed that the MRT would usher in a new phase in Singapore's development and bring about a better life for all Singaporeans. Indeed, in the past 30 years, the MRT system has expanded beyond what Ong initially envisioned. In 1993, Ong was sworn in as Singapore's first elected president. Ong went the extra mile to involve himself in urban development. One of Ong's first undertaking was the refurbishment of the Istana, the presidential residence. As a patron of the arts, Ong committed himself to enhancing the local art scene. During his tenure, the Esplanade, a performing arts centre, was constructed. With its unique durian shaped exterior, the Esplanade went beyond its immediate value, symbolising the dawn of a new era for the arts in Singapore. In Ong's own words, it was an important architectural expression of Singapore's culture and people. Ong Teng Cheong, a true urban hero, a man of great foresight, and a source of inspiration for future generations. <laughs>